Hey, hey, hey. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. Now go and get the clap. Now pop it for a player. Pop, pop it for me. What? Turn around and drop it for a player. Drop, drop it for me. And what? What's up, my bomb squad? This your girl, Lisa. And DC Kool Aid. And we're back with another video. 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 The video girl. Video. Ah, what's the video about, babe? No, you know you can't be low because the camera, you know. What's the video got? Uh, the, 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 yep. So what, yeah. Oh, you talking ahead. about me. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, babe. All right, we got this thing going on in the world where, um, <laughs> when do you allow your kids to, um, actually go out and have fun, um, supervised? So. That's the topic. That's real talk. I don't know. Is it? Uns I mean, they're not unsupervised. We're gonna be unsupervised. It's gonna be in a place. But when do you? I don't know. I, I, the the topic is 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 with so much going on. I think that's why. I mean, when we was well, no, not when you was kids. See, I'm different. See, we from two different schools. I was raised in the south, in a very small town, where you could walk. Well, it's country now. Don't get it wrong. And, but you didn't hitchhike. You walked home. How long it took. You didn't worry about nobody snatching you off the streets. Because hell, there weren't no streets and sideways anyway. You didn't worry about nobody doing it because it was such a small town. Everybody knew everybody. Everybody growing up together. We would be, walk. I was, I, there was a lake. That I think was three miles from my house, and when I was when I was younger, I was I was a teenager, and I was on this weight loss kick, cause I thought I needed to be super skinny, so I walked from my house to the lake, around the lake, and back home, six miles every day. I was a teenager. I was a, I was a older teenager, I guess, and um, I did that every day for a couple of weeks. I lost weight really fast. But it was one day, I was walking, and this guy said, hey, looking good, I see you every day, and I stopped. You know? But that was what I dealt with growing up. So I think I'm a little more lenient on Nick, but I look, I lean to her because she was up here. She was in D.C. growing up, and it was different, you know? So I don't know, do we let him go out? He's 13. And I don't mean let him go out willy-nilly. I just, like, he wanted to meet his friends. It was two little girls and two little boys. It, at was, a it was two little boys. At a rec boys. center. At a rec center. And what, 7 o'clock? 7 o'clock. What, Saturday night? On Saturday night. But, okay. But the thing about it, keep in mind, you they don't know the backstory behind it. The backstory is Nick had a game that day, which was Saturday. <laughs> And I was sitting in the bleachers while they were talking in the back. So it was this young lady at another game that started because our game was over. So Nick and everybody left out. And I was still sitting on the bleachers and a girl spoke to Nick. So, you know, they She's left. She's a pretty little girl. I was like, oh, look at that. Look. So they left, they left out. So once they left out, the little girl friend was like, how you know him? She said, that's my friend. So when we got outside. Charles was like, Charles was like, um, hey, Nick, how you know her? What school she go to? She was like, she in high school. Now, she's in high school. Nick just turned 13, like, not even a month yet, okay? <laughs> so, we thinking 12 plus a month, 13. So, he, he, you know, left it alone. Here it is four hours later. I was in the store. I was in the Walmart while they was waiting in the car. And I guess they had talked about going to this place. All of a sudden, he wanted to go to the rec center with his little buddy and a couple young ladies. So I was like, well, with who? So when he started telling me who, I recognized one of the females' names. So when he said, this other young lady, I said, who's that? He said, a girl that was at the basketball court. Now, here we go. She's a high schooler. Keep in mind. 
On a Saturday. She did look a little older than him. I mean, not a lot older. She did look a little older. We know, well, yeah, you, we knew the little girls other than her. Because it was Sophia and Amaya. And we knew the little boy. It was Amani. Amani didn't and know the little girl. Just two boys. Didn't know the little girl other than seeing her. And, she, you know, I, my thing is, I, I didn't want to let him go. But I did want to let him go. It's that, it's that push-pull as a parent, you want him to go and experience stuff. And how's he going to learn if he don't do stuff? But as a parent, I don't want him to go because he might get in trouble. You know, and then she quit to say, little fast gals. I'm like, what? She country to because, me. Because she my thing she is. country to me. My, she said it quick. I said. Because this, this day and age, a lot of girls and guys, you can't say one or the other is either one or the other. They either accuse... You know, I done seen this happen with one of my friend's son, you know. He's been accused of um flashing pictures and da 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 and then now you know you get you get the police involved. So I'm thinking, Nick just turned thirteen. This girl is in high school. Now I'm thinking another thing. I'm thinking, well what if she didn't see him that day? Was she gonna ask him to go? So Well she didn't ask him to go. She but, was gonna be there. She didn't ask him to go. She didn't ask. She was going to be there, but she didn't ask him to go. It was his same little group of friends. She was an added friend. But no, look what he said though. Okay, now I need some comments down below. He he said we all gonna play basketball. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold up. Wait a minute. We all gonna play basketball. Now that Wait, being said, did you hear those she, crickets? Now she's no 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 no. The the thing is that's that's the problem with being a parent. That's the problem with being a parent. He said what they told him, we're going to go play basketball. Yes, it's boys and girls. Yes, boys and girls get together. They do stuff. That being said, them same little boys and girls do play basketball. It's it's the way that we are now that we've gotten, the, that the society has gotten so bad that we can't let our kids go, hell, I'm sure. Everybody who gonna write something in the comments that told their mama they going to play basketball or kickball or four square, whatever the hell you used to play when you was a kid, and you was going to, to, to chop it up with your friends. The reality is that you don't, yeah, we going to play basketball, but basketball might be the last thing we play. Well, I had told Barbie Pink Lifestyle this, right? Barbie said she would have went and sat down while she he <laughs> is his mama. She is a stalker. She said I, we should have told her she would have went and she would have been around. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Because, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I wanted him to go, but I didn't want him to go. I didn't want him to go because quick shit. Oops, give me a quick stuff like that is where problems happen. Had it been like something, had it been like, had it even happened at the game. Hey, Nick, we're going to go to Claude Moore yeah. tonight. That's the rec center. You want to come. That's the rec center. If if they'd have been if if she'd have been there, same little girl, same little high school girl, cause she looked older, but she didn't look super old. So they gotta be around the same age. They can't be. He thirteen, she could be fifteen, which is fine, cause I have an issue with old women and young boys. And I'm not talking about older women and younger men. They ain't what I'm talking about. For somebody to say whom, I'm not talking about older women and younger men. I'm not talking about older men and younger women. I'm talking about. Uh oh. Old ass women huh? oh. and little boys. Old grown 40 year old women and 17, 18 year old little boys. What you doing with him? But the point is. So, back. that being said, the little girl, she was older. Had I would have been fine if when he got in the car from the basketball game, he said, Hey, mama, that little girl, she asked me, Could I go to Claude Mall? Amani gonna be there. Amaya and. Um, what a little girl name did like him. He I liked, think he whatever. was fine upstairs playing this game. Because <laughs> he, he went upstairs like, okay. And he played this game. Like I told him, if he want to go to the movies, I take him to the movies. They got this new thing they just built around the corner for them to hang out and do, um, what's the name of the stuff we watch on TV? Uh, they oh, the... the like American Ninja Warrior, but for kids. And they done built to do. They, yeah, they done built that for, you know, grown folks and kids to do. That's which actually five minutes away. I told him, I said, if you find something to do, 
we can take y'all to have fun, but to be sitting over there. You're right, but it's sad. that That's what we used to do. That's the problem now. That's why people are always talking about, y'all see the memes on your Facebook or whatever, of the, of, the, of the yard with all the bicycles in the front of it, and that's the way you used to, you know what I'm saying? That's the way you used to look up your friends to find a bike. We don't do that no more. Kids can't go hang out. Because things happen so fast. But now. things happen anyway. Yeah, but it's worse now. It's but like, you know what like I'm saying? It's, but you got to look at it right now. You got people, kids are missing because they just went one place. You got kids missing because, got they, kids missing because they were catfish or something. No, you, you got kids missing because they went to school, baby. These are not these are not that stuff that we watch on ID. These little kids that are missing in Maryland, D.C. And there's a couple of kids in Virginia. These are not, I looked, uh, some old man was talking to me online. These are not, uh, me and my friends was talking to this little boy from another school. Turned out he was a grown man. These are kids that are getting off the school bus. These are kids that are going to school. These are not, this is not what this is. It is, it is all the time. But see, that's my thing. I, I was telling, I was talking to Barbie Pink Lifestyle. We were talking about it yesterday. Because a friend of mine, his little girl, he went missing in another part of the state. And, um, but I also heard about another little girl that went missing. And another little girl. And a little boy. And these are not even Nick's age. These are 12, 9. You know, mm -hmm. I talk, uh, yeah. I mean, okay. They, they know I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> See all over the place, y'all. Because I, because I, my thoughts, I'll be thinking and looking off. Uh, but my question is for real, and, for real, and, for real. But see, with, 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 see, that's where I'm at. I see all that, and I don't want to bubble wrap the little boy because that's not realistic. Because that's not the life. He's not gonna be able. That's what's another thing wrong with these kids. We didn't got so we knew how to go outside. We knew how to to say no. We knew how not to get in cars. Somebody damn near had to jump on us and fight us to get us in a car. We knew how not to get in the back of a van with a puppy and a candy bar. We knew how not to do that because our parents because we knew our parents said no. Go here. Be there. Do this. We did that. But now because of social media and because you can talk to somebody Somebody in Virginia can talk to somebody in Maryland and because you can sh hop on a shuttle and hop on a bus and go there It's 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 not realistic. These kids need to know how To do stuff, but then that's the thing we can't even, we can't protect kids getting off the school bus Yeah, but I can't protect Nick getting off the school bus I can't protect him waiting to get on the school bus and that's that's as scary as him going to Claude Moore with them little kids yeah, but now these days you have to go with your first instinct because, you know, you don't want to say something told me not to and then you let them and then you regret it later because you thought... What's your kids? I'm always telling you not to. So, but sometimes you can say, all right, like he, like I told him, I said, Nick, if you go to the movies or to the mall, I can be near. You got a phone, you know what I'm saying? I'm near. I see you. I'm near. Until you get old enough. But see, that's what that's what I'm saying. There's always, as long as we don't control the situation, we're going to feel some kind of way. But at what point, we can't always control the situation. You know, and at what point does that affect the kid? Nick is... is, is He's a strange. He's not a strange kid. He's a he's a funny, smart, goofy, absent-minded. He's, he's not, a kid. He's a kid. He's, he's not, what a kid's supposed to be. Yeah, he's not one of those like. He not a grown kid. Nah. He not no. He grown, but he grown like smart. A grown, not grown like he ain't the kind of kid. He ain't the you ain't my daddy type kid. He ain't the who you talking to kind of kid. He's none of that. Like Even I wouldn't be being his mama. Yeah, he the type of kid he'd be easily to get because he, no, he wouldn't. That's the thing. He, I done no, told no. Nick because See, he's you not ghetto. He's not a ghetto. Ghetto ain't got nothing to do with this. Them ghetto kids is getting got. He's it's a, not little. It's not little. He's not bad. He's it's, not, it's not, not like a fight. Kids getting got. 
<laughs> no, it's not no it's not that Relisha Rudd, the little girl that went missing, she was raised in, in homeless shelters. No, what I'm trying to say is these little hot girls that's going missing, these little girls that go out all the time where their mama don't know where they at. Kids like Nick ain't going nowhere because Nick know Nick ain't got no stranger danger. Nick know who to get in the car with. Yeah, but you I'm just saying, not gonna get in the car. Nick just not gonna get in. He a surprise you. You can't, but you can't. I am going to always Barbie Pink Lifestyle and Nicholas. I'm always going to err on the side of my kids when it comes to certain things. Certain things they do do. Certain things they suck at. Certain things they need Jesus. Yeah. But I'm gonna err on the side of we taught them well. Why he is not ghetto at any stretch of the imagination. He also just ain't no punk. Well, we, we we never seen Nick never been in no situation because he doesn't get it. That's the thing we taught him well. We taught him how not to get in them situations. We taught him. I have been always you told Nick what kind of situation he can be. Nick can be when he go to high school. Like I told him when when he get to high school, two years from now, you know, it's like we'll see how he handle seniors. You know, because they're going to be bullies and see, you know, they are going to be, you know, because they, they, they the freshmen. I don't even so, want to get on that. They just. So just, we, we just, we, for right now, Nick is a little what's boy. What's today? Wednesday? Kid. Tuesday? I don't even want to get on bullying. So it's like, my question is, our question. What do we do with our kids? I mean. When, when, when do you allow them to. When do we just let them go? When do we let them go? I think he's still young because, like I said, he, he was just 12 a couple of weeks ago. You know? No, I don't want to. No, I don't want him. Excuse me. I don't want him out there like that. It's just like we let him go to walk. We let him walk from or ride his bike from here to McDonald's. Yeah, that's a block. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But from here to McDonald's, he was completely unsupervised. He had nobody but him and his bike and his cell phone. And he stayed on his phone with me until he could pay it, until he knew where he was going. He stayed on his phone with me. So that's the thing. It's not the it's not the hanging out with his friends. Cause I promise you, I got in more trouble in school than I got hanging out somewhere. Yeah, but see you gotta think when we growing up, it was totally different. Now these days, kids are going missing so much. It's ridiculous. Every time I I watch the news every morning and every time you look, there's a child being kidnapped. I might. Like, it's just not that. Did and I remember, I, remember we, I remember when we were kids, we played outside, we played in the yard, we played out the yard, we went up the street, we oh, went in the hood, we, we did everything. But the point was, yes, we did when we were I'm younger. <laughs> we were younger at the house. She was on gang. She yeah, but, bow. but we, I mean, back then, even when Brittany was growing up, it wasn't as bad. No, nah, I mean, but it's, it's, it's. Get in the camera, babe. I don't know. It's, it's. It's everything, y'all. It's it's with kids. You are bipolar and psychopathic, and kids make you have mental issues because you don't know when to let them go. You don't know when to rein them in. You don't know when to baby. You don't know when to rough them up. You don't know if what you're doing is adversely affecting them or affecting them in a good way. You we talking about kids going missing. We talking about little girls and little boys being fast. Tuesday when I was on my way to my doctor's appointment. Listen to the news. Listen to the news on the radio. They found a little girl at one of the charter schools in D.C. Oh yeah, I saw that. They found a little girl in her room because it was a boarding school. They found a 12 year old. Dead. In her room. And the only thing her mother could say. Is that she knew she was being bullied. That's all she could say. It's, 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 it's. You're scared for them to go to school. You're scared, but you, but they got to go to school. You can't teach them everything they need to know. You're scared for them to go hang out. But they can't be up under you. That's how you make serial killers. That's why all these crazy people run around. Right? That's why I keep him in sports. When Nick came you're in my life. You're scared for him to go to sports. But you're scared for him to go to sports. Because now he's going to meet people not just in his school. But people all over the county. And he's going to want to hang out with them. Not just at 13, at 14, at 15. No, and but then he's going to be grown. Nick is five. Nick is already tall as me and he is 13 years old. Imagine what he's going to be like in a couple of years. Imagine what he's going to look like in a couple of years. 
Imagine when he does get to high school. I'm, I don't even... The bullying... It's, but it's basically how, how... When do you allow your kids to do stuff? Like, for people that have kids... And if it's kids on here on our um, channel... Do your parents allow you to do things? Yeah. You know... Or do you, or as a parent, do you allow your kid to, you know, do things while you're not present? Or, you know, I don't know. Because, like I said, when, when Barbie Pink Lifestyle was growing up, it was totally different. And she's only 26. And when she was Nick age, it was okay for them to hang out at the mall, you know. And a parent would be at the mall just in case they need them. Or it was okay for them just to be... You know, at the movies or whatever case, you didn't have as much as um, kidnappers out here kidnapping kids. You know, so. I mean, it comes that that comes in in in, in waves. It's yeah, but like, I just want to know. I I want them to comment down below and say yeah. would they have experience with their children at as a young adult or just turning a teenager. You know, because at first, you know, Nick like. Actually, Nick likes to play his games. He talks to his friends and they play games till he gets sleepy. But there's a point when Nick want to go out, you know, hang out with his friends, which is cool. But when do you allow that? When do you allow? When do you allow? And this is to the kids. To any kids that are watching that are Nick's age and you a little older, if you're a little younger. Now, over that, over you, over, as a parent watching and you have kids, ask your kid. No, I was my dad. Say something to the kids. Go ahead. <laughs> Ask your kids. <laughs> Not what about asking. <laughs> um, to the kids that are watching, if you feel like you're not being heard, if you feel like you have an opinion on this topic or anything you've heard us say, because like I said, being a parent makes you crazy. I promise you. As a parent, we are crazy because we'll kill for you, we'll die for you, we'll we'll choke you, we'll we'll do a lot of stuff. As a parent. We, I promise you, y'all give us mental issues. But that being said, as a kid, if you if you watch our channel at all and you're young and you feel like you ain't being heard and you got something to say, drop it in the comments for me. How? What do you feel? Do you feel like they let you go too early? Do you feel like you should be able to do stuff? Whatever. Whatever you feel. Because sometimes it's just about listening to your kids. It's sometimes... It's not just about what you feel. Sometimes your comfort zone has got to let go. And you got to let your kids go. You got to let them go in stages. And, when, and it's hard to know the stages. Because we have to not only deal with being a parent. We have to deal with the world. And we have to deal with the world is throwing at y'all and giving to y'all. So, for the kids out there. If anybody's watching, any teenagers... I mean, any flavor, drop in the comments. How you feeling? What you want to know? If you want to discuss something. If you need somebody to talk to. If you need us to get your parents to listen to you. Because sometimes the difference between a good and a bad kid. And just listen to what they have to say. Then let us know. Parents, if you feel like you're crazy, you are. It's okay. It comes with having kids. And if you don't have kids, what do you think? Yeah, if you don't have, I mean, we we just we make, going just make the, a note if you a parent or not a parent. We go under the <laughs> assumption that most people that watch us have kids, but if you don't have kids, what is your opinion opinion on this matter? Because you are a part of the world that we're letting our kids out into, and 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 that's the problem because not everybody's going to treat our kids like we treat them. Not everybody. It's not like it used to be when we were growing up. I'm fifty. She's fifty one. Depend upon your age. When we were growing up, the entire village raised you. If you got in trouble at school, trust me when I tell you, your mama's going to know. Because somebody told Sister, Sister Smith on the corner, Sister Smith to snatch you up. I mean, it just it is what it is. I heard what you was doing when you walking by the house. I heard you. I'm telling your mama. Your neighborhood snitch. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's different. Nobody is looking out. You, you're looking out for yours, which is cool because I'm going to look out for mine. But you ain't looking out for man. 
And I think we got to get back to that. We got if, if we looked out for each other's kids, if we paid attention, I don't think people could take our kids and run away with them and do the stuff they're doing with these kids. I don't think it could happen if we were paying attention. It'll happen because it's, it's, it's always happened. Somebody's always done it. But I, I think that if we got better about... <sighs> Just loving everybody, having these kids need all of us, man. These kids need all of us. Because where I fail, somebody else picks up. Where I fail, she picks up. And it's and I don't know what I would do without her in my life. I would figure it out because at the end of the day, a parent is a parent. A parent, a single parent, two parent family, three parents, hell, parents, grandparents. You figure it out. When you got kids, you figure it out. You make sure. That these kids make it. But. Sometimes you need a little help. And I think we should get back to that. I think we should get back to. Looking out for each other. I think we should get back to. Snitching on the kids. And, 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 and the kids feeling safe. To walk down the street. And go down to the corner store. Or go up the street to their friend house. Without having to worry about it. Because they know that. This house the song, they done spoke to this lady, and these people got their back. And I think if we got back to that, these conversations would be fewer and farther between. I think that if we got back to that, our kids could go play, lie about playing basketball, and just be up there trying to flirt and do whatever little 12, 13, 14 year old kids do. I think we would do that because we would have a sense of... Uh, What's the word I'm for? We would have a sense of security knowing that if Nick is out, his friend mama looking, that everybody's mama is looking out for all the kids. I think we just got back to that. So, um, in conclusion, this was, it's just been a lot going on with kids lately. And um, they're precious. There's gifts that I can't even explain. But we just wanted to know when should we let them go? Because the reality is we got to let them go sometime. We don't want to. Alright. But we got to. So drop it in the comments down below. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, Alright guys. Go ahead. Take this time to like the video. If you didn't like it when you came in, go ahead and like it now. Ah, uh, thank you. Smash that notification bell. Comment down below. Young people, comment with your thoughts. We want to hear them. We want to hear you. So, young people, comment with your thoughts. Parents, comment with your thoughts. Unparent, hey, everybody just comment with their thoughts and how you feel. And if you want to talk about, if you want us to talk about something else, just drop that too. So, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Yes, subscribe. And share this video. And share this video because maybe somebody else needs to hear that they can. They got somewhere they can talk to. So, thank you so much for joining us, Mom Squad. We love you so much. We love the kids. So, um, this is Lisa. And DC Kool-Aid. And we out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. DC Kool-Aid and Lisa doing challenge on your head top. Yeah, you know what's happening when you tune in. Story times, pranks, and vlogging, man. We a great big family. We the Bomb Squad. We on that grind to a number with a K. Best believe you'll stay. You can chill with the fam like most of y'all do. DC Kool-Aid, Lisa, and Nick too. With Charles and Barbie living that YouTube life. We love our fans and support as we a family do. So come on down to Bomb Squad Town. Have a seat watching videos. And nobody likes to hate. Keep it positive and have a nice day. Oh, I forgot. Smash that like button. Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Hey!